Let's talk about our democracy for a minute. <laughs> but let's do it in a way that makes the snowflakes heads explode. Let me be clear before this podcast begins. We are loud, loud, proud, proud, and do not give a fuck. This is the Tony Michaels podcast. Real and raw political and social commentary. The freedom to oppress the rights of other people is not liberty. You shit-eating moron. Ah, the smell of freedom of speech. This is the Tony Michaels Podcast, and this is Tony Michaels. Hey, Tony, fuck them. God bless China. Kind of weird. Oh, of course they're made in China, and they're made for three dollars. I told you this. I think it was on Monday after it was ex- uh, exposed that the Oklahoma Secretary of Education Ryan Walters um, put out a bid for a hundred and fifty-five thousand leather-bound Trump Bibles to award six million dollars. Uh, we found out more information that it looks like almost 155 have been imported here from China. China. Trump Bibles. Uh oh. China, 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 China. Of course, uh, this comes with a lot of baggage, right? What do I mean by that? Trump always is trying to look for a way to grift with plausible deniability. And that's what this is. I mean, I I know the story hasn't developed to that point yet, but if it is what I think it is, that there was coordination with state officials in Oklahoma specifically Ryan Walters, to funnel Oklahoma taxpayer dollars to Donald Trump through this Bible by mandating that there be Bibles in every single classroom. And by mandating it, the state, you would think, would have to provide those Bibles in Ryan Walters' mind. So what better way to pad the pockets of Donald Trump Through the way of Lee Greenwood. And I explained it to you. I explained it to you on Monday. That the reason why Donald Trump used Lee Greenwood is because that God bless the USA Bible was already in production. It was already in production and he needed it ready for production. It can't be like the shoes or the watches. The shoes and the watches, he can just pre-order that shit. They can pre-order that garbage. And then once he gets all the Russian pre-orders, excuse me, the pre-orders, then he can go order the shoes and the watches from factories in China. But again, this Bible is a whole level of hypocrisy, but it's Trump. It's Republicans. It's MAGA. What the what the fuck else is there with MAGA besides lies and hypocrisy? What else is there? Is there another personality trait that you're fucking looking for? Because if you're looking for something deeper than hypocrisy and lies and deceit and cons, you're fucking looking in the wrong spot. Of course, the fucking Bible was going to be produced in China. Where else would it be produced at the lowest cost so Trump can make the most amount of money when the Oklahoma state government grants them the $6 million contract for 155,000 Bibles? Where? Where else would he fucking make this piece of shit Bible? Huh? Huh? 
You think he was going to manufacture this thing in the United States? He fucking hates America. He fucking hates it. He hates our country. He thinks our country is a complete fucking shithole. That's what he believes. He said it on the flagrant podcast. With the fucking bros. The bros wouldn't even go along with his narrative that America is shit. Wouldn't even go along with it. And if it if it is uh, if it is what I think it is, you know, because I'm just postulating here with theory. But l- listen, there is no coincidence when it comes to Trump. It's all built in plausible deniability. Fuck Elon. Elon even said it the other day. Where do you think he gets that language? Where do you think he gets these ideas of plausible deniability of crime? Where do you think he gets it from? Elon is dork MAGA now. So of course he's got to build in every single piece of his crime to plausible deniability. This is where this is heading. And it's all for one cause and one cause only, sedition. Sedition. This word needs to be repeated over and over and over and over in the media. Sedition. It is seditious. They are trying to topple our government so that they do not suffer consequences of their fucking crimes. Whatever array of crimes that that may be, goddamn, it may take decades to unpile the amount of crime that MAGA has committed on the United States of America. At the very least, at the very least, Republicans in Oklahoma right now should be moving to impeach Ryan Walters as the superintendent of education in Oklahoma. Now that they know that that Ryan Walters clearly, clearly was ordering Chinese Bibles. Which is clearly not in the camp of conservatives and Republicans. They fucking hate China. China, 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 China's destroying our economy. China this, China's the enemy, China. China, China, China. Where are the fucking Oklahoma Republicans who are fucking impeaching and removing Ryan Walters for ordering 155,000 Chinese Bibles from Donald Trump for six million bucks? Huh? But we don't even have to get into the unconstitutionality of fucking mandating that students learn from the Bible. You don't even have to go there, Republicans. Fuck, I'll give you that. I'll give you that, Mulligan. Even though that's the obvious fucking thing that you would impeach a motherfucker for. Big Chinese Bible government. Because that's all this is, is big Chinese Bible government. God bless the USA. Fuck you. Fuck you and your fucking stupid Lee Greenwood song. I never want to fucking hear that song ever again. Fuck Lee Greenwood. Fuck Donald Trump. And fuck God bless the USA. Stick that shit up your fucking ass. We need to take it off our fucking money. And we need to take it off our fucking police cars. Off our fucking government buildings. Fuck that Christian nationalist bullshit. Fuck that shit. And tax the fucking churches. It's enough of this nonsense. You can have your fucking religion. You can believe stupid fucking shit, whatever you want to believe. But you cannot use the state to force us to believe your fucking bullshit. There is a reason why our forefathers were secular. Yes, they were, you fucking white Christian nationalist Nazis. They knew what religion would do to our country. Hmm. Looks like they were right. George Washington warned us of this. 
regardless of how you feel about George Washington, George Washington warned us of this. They wanted to make George Washington king. What do you think the fucking revolution was? To get out of the thumb of power of people like Donald Trump and Ryan Walters. Yeah, Ryan, I'm talking about you, you fucking Nazi. You're not a Christian, by the way. You fucking piece of shit. Fuck, I'm an atheist, and I'm a hell of a lot more of a Christian than you'll ever fucking dream of being. You cocksucker. And that's probably, that's probably Ryan's real problem here, is he got all this shit pent up. He's got all this shit hidden in the closet. I would say that there needs to be an investigation, too, into why, why did Donald Trump import almost the exact same amount of of these fucking Bibles manufactured in China right before Ryan Walters declares and mandates that Bibles be in the classroom and then is going to award a $6 million contract for the state of Oklahoma. I want to know why. I want to know what the fuck is going on. We need to figure out what the hell is going on. My guess is, my guess is, is if you dig deep enough, you might find communication. It's probably there. It was probably the whole fucking idea of the stupid fucking Trump Bible in the first place is to put three, four million dollars into Donald Trump's pocket and give Lee Greenwood a little bit of a commission. Hell, who knows how much Ryan Walters is getting off this deal? I don't know. How the fuck are we supposed to know? Sedition. We need to know the word. We need to know what it is. Frankly, uh, if if liberals, because this is a liberal democracy, if liberals get get the ability to look at the sedition clause in our laws, in our criminal statutes, we need to really readjust. Because speaking of sedition and trying to up in our government. And affecting and damaging not just property and money, but lives. Holy fuck. There are going to be, I, I, I can't tell you how many dozen people. Maybe hundreds. I, I don't know. I, I, I couldn't calculate. I have no idea how many people are believing the absolute nonsense and bullshit on the internet right now. And Elon Musk is culpable. Elon Musk is absolutely letting wild lies about the government creating and manufacturing storms, hurricanes, specifically Milton, on his platform. He's letting MAGA run wild with their fucking lies about FEMA and the government and their recovery effort. And the Mandatory Evacuation Effort. Milton is a huge storm. It's creating tornadoes off the coast of Florida already, spawning them. It's supposed to hit landfall sometime this evening. It's going to be devastating. They're they're estimating, Noah's estimating, up to 15-foot walls of water. If you live, and, and if you know anything about construction... Right? You know anything about construction? You know anything about size of single-story uh, uh, housing, residential housing? You will know that at a 15-foot wall of water, people are going to drown in their attics.
And Elon Musk is just letting lies run wild. On his social media platform. The federal government is doing everything they can. Uh, this morning, Mayorkas was on MSNBC talking about how many million meals they have ready. The federal government has food ready because it's all going to be gone. There are millions of people fleeing that state. And hopefully everyone gets to safety. I don't give a shit if they're citizens or undocumented. I don't give a shit they're human beings. Trump's lies is going to kill his supporters. Elon letting the lies run wild on Twitter is going to kill his supporters. It's going to kill them. If they do not heed the warnings that the local, state, and federal officials are sending them. Fuck the property. I mean, yeah, you know, it's going to be a huge recovery effort. God knows how much money we're going to have to make sure that Florida gets to, to bounce back from this storm. If Ron DeSantis will do his job, which is pff, doubtful at best. But when I talk about sedition, I'm talking about being complicit in not only manufacturing the lies, but continuing to broadcast the lies when you know that it's all bullshit and you're putting lives in danger. Not just property, lives. The storm is going to be deadly. You're not going to be able to stand on your roof on a single story residential structure. Some of these people who have believed Trump's lies that somehow Kamala Harris is flying planes in the Gulf of Mexico to manufacture a hurricane and directing it towards Florida are going to lose their lives. And I'm not just saying this, to pulling it out of my fucking ass. I have a pretty credible post on Reddit, and they're all over the internet out there that show that, yes, as a matter of fact, people are certainly listening to the bullshit online. Alex Jones and InfoWars has been dangerous for many, many decades. Almost 30 years, I believe. Alex Jones got his start uh, in public broadcast television, and he would uh, he would be sensational <laughs> and entertaining as he he pumped his conspiracy theories into a microphone. It led him to attract a broad audience all across the country and all across the world. And when Alex Jones was able to attract a large, broad audience like that, he was really able to lean into melting the minds of these people with just outright fucking lies. Well beyond conspiracy theories. Conspiracy theories are at least to some degree tethered to some sort of crumbs of fact. His, not. Not at all. It's the reason why the bankruptcy of InfoWars, the federal judge has declared that, yes, we are going to break up this InfoWars. We're gonna, you're going to sell that shit off. I, I, I'd i say it was likely that uh, Elon Musk is going to buy it all up. Which is basically going to uh, save Alex Jones. Which, I mean, Alex Jones doesn't need InfoWars. He just needs someone to help him pump his conspiracy theories. And the only reason why I'm using Alex Jones in this moment is because you know who Alex Jones is. 
But it, th- this cancer, this disease of sedition has well bled past Alex Jones on Twitter. And I'm not sure if Elon is behind making sure that these counts have hundreds of thousands of people following them. But he definitely is pumping it into people's feeds. Alex Jones himself is on Twitter in the last few days talking about how the government is flying airplanes in the Gulf of Mexico to direct the storm and to build the storm to hit Florida because Florida is Trump supporters. People are believing it. Yes, NOAA has planes. They have weather planes that collect data from storms. So that way they know the the actual volume of the storm so they can try to predict the damage and the direction to save lives. And not just Alex Jones, but the entirety of MAGA Twitter and the MAGA universe online is 100% spreading deadly, seditious lies. It's seditious. And the reason why it's seditious is because there's protective orders of the federal government of this disaster. The president of the United States has the ability to use the law of his executive power to declare natural disasters. He he can afford the he can afford those local officials and state officials to mandate evacuations. The government can tell you to leave your home. They can make you leave your home. It is a thing. And the reason why is it to control you. It's because the government has a way to know information that you are incapable of knowing yourself. One of those ways that they get that information is flying data planes in the Gulf of Mexico into the storm to make sure they collect the data to know exactly what the impact of the storm is going to be. It is the mission of Noah. I I don't think I have to actually fucking say that Trump's Project 2025 and MAGA want to do away with Noah. They want to do away with storm warnings. They do not want to warn people of storms. They do not want to know data. Data and facts are MAGA's kryptonite. I'm not a meteorologist. Most of you probably are not either. Some of you may have some experience in weather prediction, but very few. And you're not even fucking close to the amount of effort and funding that goes to NOAA to make sure That this storm is predicted properly so we save as many fucking lives as we possibly can. I don't give a shit who they're going to vote for. But MAGA and Republicans, Trump and Elon, don't give two fucking shits who they leave in their wake. No pun intended. As long as they win and they can upend the government. As long as their aim is to undo the government. And Elon Musk said it out loud on the Tucker Carlson. If he loses, I'm fucked. I'm completely fucked if he loses. I wonder what it could be. It's probably not just one crime. It's probably not just Elon's uh, name appearing on the Epstein client list. It's probably all the communication that Elon Musk has had with Donald Trump and Donald Trump's campaign and other MAGA influencers and his ability to use X 
to platform people who spread lies to make sure that Donald Trump becomes president so Elon Musk is not prosecuted by undoing and eliminating the Department of Justice and the FBI. That's sedition. That is sedition. It's enough of it. It really is enough of it. We do not have to put up with this much longer. The wheels of justice are slow. They grind really slow. We should want them to grind really slow. I know that doesn't make sense in the moment because of what I'm saying. But trust me when I say this, there are plenty of people out there who have a certain skin color or a certain demographic that would say, I want the wheels of justice to go really slow. Because the wheels of justice discriminate against certain people. But we do not want to stop those wheels of justice. And if Trump's Project 2025 becomes a reality in our country, Our Constitution is gone. Our Republic is gone. It is now a $3 Chinese Bible theocratic monarchy. And the carnival barkers selling you the $3 Bibles for $60 is the king. Hell, he may just force you to buy a fucking Bible while you're standing on the rooftop in Florida as a hurricane hits that you didn't even see coming because there is no such thing as Noah. They aren't predicting weather anymore. They're sending all those funds to Donald Trump. All the funds, all the money goes to Donald Trump so he can distribute to all the oligarchs in the United States of Trump. How do you think this is going to work? Why do you think they want to undo government funding? Why do you think they're bitching, pissing, and moaning and lying about FEMA funds going to brown people? They want the, the funds going to brown people to go to Trump so he can distribute them to oligarchs. The same thing that Vladimir Putin has done in Russia. So that way they can up in not democracy just here, but all around the world. Democracy does not suit the oligarchs, the autocracy. Totalitarianism is fucking expensive, folks. And they need every single nickel they can get. Rather it be from Noah, from FEMA. Or from the Oklahoma Department of Education for Chinese God Bless the USA Bibles. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back right after this. 